All right, beginner, so this is your first math lesson of many. Every morning you will be getting a new math lesson, and then this isn't something you're necessarily working on in your math books right now, but later on this year, or definitely in Miss Yolanda's class, you'll encounter this stuff. Um, we're starting off with something really simple and easy. We did this last year, so don't be scared. Um, but it's really easy, it's just nice for you guys to refresh your memories and remember what they were. All right, so we're just adding. Who knows what adding is? Adding is putting numbers together to make a bigger number. Like if I have one and I put one more, it's gonna make what? One plus one is two. All right, two. Now we're gonna keep adding ones. What's two plus one? If you know it and you can do it in your brain, go ahead and say it to me, all right? But if you can't, try adding your fingers until you're able to say it in your brain, and for, then I'll give you guys the answer, all right? So what's two plus one more? Say it to me if you know it. Three, good job. See, I told you it's really easy. This is gonna be like the simplest little math review from last year ever. So three, adding one more is gonna be four. All right, now what's four plus one? Four plus one is five. What about five plus one? Six. What about six plus one? Seven. What about seven plus one? Eight. What about eight plus one? Nine. What about nine plus one? 10. Super simple, right? All we're doing is adding one more number and making it bigger, adding. All right, so one plus, or sorry, 10 plus one is 11. What about 11 plus one? Now that's where it gets a little tricky. It starts to get a little tricky here because we have 10 fingers and we add one more. Do we have 11 fingers? Can we make 13 fingers so we can add bigger numbers? No, so that's why we have to start memorizing it and keeping it in our brain so we could put it together in our brains so we can go, oh yeah, all right, we're able to do it in our head. So soon, right now you might be using your fingers, but after that, you'll be able to do it in your head like that. All right, so looking at the next one, what's 11 plus one? 12, excellent job. And then 12 plus adding one more, 13. 13 plus one, 14. Good job. 14 plus one, we're almost done, 15. Now it's 15 plus one, 16, excellent. See, it's really simple. All you're doing is adding one more number to make a bigger number. Now you can do something where you do, you know, five plus seven or 10 plus 21. We're just doing the really basic adding one. Now, cause I know this is super easy for a lot of you guys. I'm gonna make it just a little bit more trickier. So hang on to your hats. All right, what if I were to do, hmm, 125 plus one? What does that give us? 125 plus one. Go ahead and tell me. What do you guys think it is? Tell me your answers. Now, do we have 125 fingers? That would be very creepy. I hope you don't have 125 fingers. So that's when we start doing it in our heads. 125 plus one. Well, let's start with the first one and be still 100. And one not, so it'd be 100. Now, let's actually break this down before I give you the answer. Let's break this down. We have one and 25, right? To make 125. Now, what if I were to give you Twenty-five plus one. What's twenty-five plus one? Well, what's after twenty-five? Twenty-six. So a hundred and twenty-five plus one would be a hundred and twenty-six. So that's your answer. See, was that really hard? All we had to do was get the small number inside and break it down. So you got your number here and then when you add the one you have your answer all we're doing is breaking down our numbers all right so i'm gonna give you a couple of tricky ones for you guys to work in just a little bit let's 
do one more together and then I'll give you a couple to do on your own, all right? So let's see. Hmm, let's do even bigger than 100. Let's do 300. We'll do 380. Hmm, how about 384? Can you guys solve this problem? We'll do it together right now in just a minute. So 384 plus one. So let's go ahead and break it down, all right? What's our smaller number besides the three? All right, so we have the three. What's our smaller number? 84. So what's 84 plus one? 84, let's count. 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. Good job. So 84 plus 1 is 85. So 384 plus 1 would be 300. And 80, 385. See, it's really simple. It's not that hard. So what I'm going to do right now is write a couple of problems for you guys to figure out on your own. All right, now you can get do this on a scratch paper. You can do this really small on the side of your math book because you should have some blank room right there, all right? But this is something that you guys can work on on your own, all right? And if you really like it, you can have your parents make some other problems for you guys. So give me one moment. Let's do... Five hundred and thirty seven plus one. And hmm, let's do two more. Let's do and hmm, give me a number. Say a number to me. I'm having a hard time thinking of a number. What's the number we haven't used too much of? All right, so you have 337 plus one, 67 plus one, and 102 plus one. So go ahead and you guys can work on these on your own. All right, and I will see your work on Tuesday or Friday actually when you give me your packets. Good job, beginners.